So here I'm combining the animation feature of CSS with the 2D transform feature that we talked about last week. So here I've got some CSS code. Well, let's look at the HTML code first. I just have a basic div with a class of animation. And then my CSS code, I have a rule for divs, and this is where I set up some of the basic stuff, like the width, the height, uh, border, background color. And I'll skip this for a second. Down here, dot animation, this is, this is my specific code for this div that I created with a class of animation. I gave it an absolute position. What this does is it takes it out of the document flow and it lets us set the position to whatever we want. So I set the initial position, the left to 100 pixels and the top to 200 pixels. And then up here I defined some keyframes. I did it for both WebKit and for the other browsers. And I called this animation Move. And you'll notice I didn't put a from in there or a 50%. Those, it turns out, are optional if you want it to start from wherever its original position was. So it's going to start from an original left position of 100 pixels. And then I have this keyframe in here saying 2. And what I'm saying is I want it to move to 500 pixels. And this is all horizontal movement. But then I have a second line in there. I put a transform in there. So initially there's no transform. The div is right side up. But I want it to animate and rotate 360 degrees. And so I put in the transform, rotate 360 degrees. And so what that's saying now is it's going to start unrotated with a left position of 100 pixels. And it's going to animate it's going to move left to 500 pixels and it's going to rotate 360 degrees. And so when I put those in there, I get this lovely animation. And that's the fun thing about combining animations with 2D transformations.